first of all, thank you so much for joining me. Um, congratulations, making history with the Knicks in your first season in charge of finishing third. I know it only happened last night, but have you had a chance to let that sink in yet? Yeah, we congratulated the boys this morning for their achievements. Uh, they worked hard to uh, get to where they've got to. So uh, very pleased in uh, the way we finished up the uh, the season, you know, the, the 26 rounds. And now we've got a very important game uh, coming up on Saturday. And hopefully two more as well. I mean, you, you said your first season in charge, you wanted to make top six. You've exceeded your own expectations. Yeah, look, we, uh, we've broken a couple of records this year. We've, we've started off with uh, probably the worst start of, uh, of, a, of, a, of a campaign and ended up with one of the best uh, finishes. So, you know, our goal was always to make the top six. Uh, whether we finished sixth or, or fifth or third, it was really ir irrelevant. And the main thing was playing finals footballs and giving players that exposure, these young players the exposure that they need to play these type of games. Yeah, you've taken the fans, you've taken all of us on such a roller coaster of a journey. Have you kind of had a chance to sit back and appreciate the good moments when it happens? Because I imagine the job is high stress all the time. Yeah, we haven't had a chance because we've been together for the last eight weeks in a in a hotel environment. So we're we're pretty much on top of each other. So it's been uh, planning and preparing because there's been short turnarounds for games. So you know the season will end uh, practically in a week. You know with the uh, elimination and the semi and the grand final. So there's a lot to prepare for and a lot to plan for. So I'm sure once we get the outcome that we want, we'll uh, enjoy the off season. Now, there are a lot of Kiwis in the side, some more experienced than others. Were you surprised with the amount of talent that they had homegrown? Yeah, look, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of players in New Zealand that I believe have got the talent. Uh, and you look at, uh, I'll, I'll give an uh, example of uh, uh, Liberato Kikache, who's had an exceptional season and, and possibly will head overseas at the end of the season. So, you know, the, the pathway is uh, Wellington Phoenix. You come through the academy and you get exposed at, at the highest level with Wellington Phoenix. So... You know, that's a pathway for the talented uh, Kiwi players and, and I'm sure there's a lot out there. Yeah, what's your take on the A-League um, eligibility so that Kiwis can't play for Australian clubs unless they've got an Australian passport? Yeah, I don't know. I, obviously, it's in the, we're, we're, we're part of an Australian competition, so I understand that uh, the New Zealanders are seen as, as foreign players to play in Australia, which probably, uh, you know, gives more opportunities for Australian players to play in the A-League competition. So, and I look at it as a positive for us. That means I can keep one of the most talented Kiwis at Wellington Phoenix. Yeah, exactly. Uh, tough question. Overall, looking at, at the whole group, who would you say has impressed you the most? For me, it's collective. When we win, we win together. When we lose, we lose together. So, you know, everyone's played a... Apart, everyone's had minutes in the last six games that we played. So I try to keep uh, everybody happy in the sense that they played a part in our season. Final footy, it's finally here. A uh, huge game against Perth. Um, the results haven't been there since the restart, but the performances, they've been pretty good. Are you confident that can all come together on Saturday? Yeah, I think goals change games. So I think against Newcastle, if we scored nice and early, it was a 3 4 nil game for us. We, I believe that we created enough opportunities in that first half to win the game. But if you don't score and then you can see it, it becomes a little bit difficult. You know, you chase the game, you open up a little bit more to get that equaliser. And that's what I believe happened uh, against Newcastle. So for us, it's very important that we, if we can score, we, we'll, we'll see our games and, and we're good enough to do that. And when we show that we can do it this season. Gary Hooper and Tim Payne have obviously left the camp. They've gone to their respective native homes. Um, how much of a loss was that? And did you think about potentially keeping them in the bubble just for team morale? Yeah, it's a tough one. It was. A, it was. I left the decision up to the players if they wanted to stay in in, uh, in the bubble or they wanted to go home. And and it's tough for players to be in an environment where you know they're very, we're very constrained in what we can do. And if they know they're not going to be able to play, it's 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 hard. I know as a player, all players want to play. So, you know, it was it was their decision if they want to stay in here. Well, they were always welcome to stay, but I think they felt a lot more comfortable if they uh, were not in the environment where they, they're stuck in here 24/7 and on top of each other, and they're not going to play a part in the rest of the season. Ufi, as you said, you know you've been here and done it with um, Marconi in Sydney last season. Have you learned any tips and tricks from your experience when it comes to finals footy that you're going to implement on Saturday? Yeah, uh, look, finals football is different. It's a 90 minute, possibly 120 minute game. Uh, so, you know, we've been speaking to the players and, and have been able to uh, manage the game and see where the game's at. You know, if we're one nil up, do we need to slow things down or do we need to speed things up? And they need to recognise uh, where the game's at at that time. So, like I said, these games are very important, especially for a young squad like ours to, to experience because building this team wasn't just about this season. It was also about the seasons coming. 
And these players need to be in this environment and be exposed to these type of games so they get they get better at what they do. Mm-hmm. Ovi, thank you so much for your time. All the best for Saturday and hopefully we'll be chatting soon looking ahead to the semi-final. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Ovi. Bye.